Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Halloween, the remake by Rob Zombie from 2007. As some of you may know, if you've seen the other reviews on this site, uh, I've been going through the Halloween franchise, okay? All the movies that I saw a long time ago that I didn't remember very well, and the ones that I never saw, including the Rob Zombie ones. I always heard bad things about those movies. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Rob Zombie myself. Uh, his directing style I find to be pretty... Uh, brash and obnoxious and just not the camera is constantly moving not a huge fan personally so I just assumed that his Halloween movies were going to be a complete disaster but you know what I like to give any movie a chance so I went in checked it out okay um, especially after Halloween ends I was like all right we got to go back and see are there actually good movies in this freaking franchise except for the first one um, so I sat there watching Halloween from 2007 and I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it, okay? I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it either. Um, having said that, like, the, the beginning of the movie, I wasn't that keen on. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of, like, the kind of prequel part of it. In the original uh, Halloween, it's kind of like the, the Michael Myers as a little kid. You see him kind of walk around the house and, like, uh, killing his family, whatever. His family's dead uh, right at the beginning of the movie. And uh, in this one, you get a lot more of that, of like his childhood, okay? So you start off, and then you see him as kind of a normal-ish kid. He does have kind of an affinity for um, Halloween masks, okay? But his his stepdad is garbage, like he's a horrible dude. Yeah, his, his home life is not great. There's two things I didn't terribly like about this first kind of part of the movie, which it feels a bit too long, actually. It's like almost like 45 minutes, I feel like of young Michael Myers. It's like they try to fit like two movies in one in this one, which is not great because it makes for kind of a long movie, um, which you don't necessarily want with Halloween. But I, I, I feel like the more we know about Michael Myers, the least kind of scary it is, unless you've got some crazy backstory that goes back before his childhood. Okay, like the whole thing about the supernatural aspect where he's like immortal kind of thing. Unless you've got like a backstory that takes place really far into the past, that's some crazy shit, okay? Unless you're doing that, which I think they should do at some point, honestly. They should go back, like go all out with it. Um, unless you're doing that, it's kind of boring. It's kind of like it really humanizes him and it makes him just kind of like a normal kind of serial killer kind of thing, which is kind of boring. It's better when you don't really know what this guy's all about. Uh, and even then, it's still kind of boring, let's be real. But uh, the second thing I wasn't too keen on is just Rob Zombie's kind of directing style. Um, he he really enjoys just shaking the camera about like all the time. And he's always kind of really zoomed in. And you've got this freaking like focus pulls. It's doing the same thing that I hate about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, which is just like showing off all these like depth of field and focus pulls and oh check this out everything is like nice and tight on the characters on the hand the extreme close-ups and everything it's really annoying the way it's directed is really annoying the good news is this settles down quite a bit in the second half of the movie um but sticking with the first part you get to see him like obviously murder pretty much his entire family uh, and then he's brought to jail and dr loomis who is now played by malcolm mcdowell which I gotta say, pretty good choice for Dr. Loomis, you gotta admit, you know? It's not easy to really follow Donald Pleasance, but Malcolm McDowell, that's the way to do it. And he does a great job. He's Dr. Loomis, and he's kind of like trying to understand what this guy's all about. So he goes to the prison all the time and talks to Michael Myers. And after a while, Michael Myers just stops talking. And then he's just kind of like, he kind of gives up at that point. Just like, well, he's in jail. There's not much more I can do. He's not talking to me, so goodbye. So Dr. Loomis leaves, okay? And um, and then, uh, well, Michael Myers, in the meantime, kind of makes a friend who's like the janitor, played by Danny Trejo. And uh, it's kind of like a, a kind of sweet-ish relationship, considering what's happening. But um, yeah, Michael Myers kind of grows up in prison, just like more and more, you know, detached from the world. And he's, like, making these little Halloween masks for himself. Uh, I don't mind that part. That part was interesting. Um, but And then he gets into fights in the prison, of course. And eventually, he tries to escape. And he does, okay? And it's a complete 
um, brutal massacre in a freaking <laughs> prison. There's even one guy who says that it's like, it's a massacre. Like he just like he doesn't know how to explain it to the to Dr. Loomis and stuff. So Dr. Loomis comes back to the prison and he's kind of telling off like uh, the people who run the prison who happen to be played by these like B movie like uh, masters. You got Udo Kier and freaking Clint Howard, which we we should have seen more of in this movie. They're not in the movie enough, which is a shame. Uh, but Rob Zombie has some nice connections with uh, with the, a bunch of really cool actors and you know what that's one of the best things about this movie is the cast i mean think about it you've got freaking clint howard udo kier freaking mark and mcdowell as doc loomis of course you've got um well you got sherry moon zombie at the beginning she plays the the mother of uh, michael myers you've got sid haig in there you've got danny trejo you've got a whole bunch of other kind of cult movie actors and it kind of like it works. This cast works. I like this cast. And so Michael Myers escapes, right? And uh, where does he go? He goes to Haddonfield to find Laurie Strode, who is not played by Jamie Lee Curtis, okay, for once. And you know what? The girl that got to play Laurie Strode, I think she's pretty good. She does a really good job at, like, um, being kind of unique compared to her friends, like, in the movie. Her friends are kind of, like, they kind of just, like, dumb high school girls you know but she's got she's got an interesting kind of offbeat sense of humor uh she seems like a genuinely nice person and um i like the look of the character i think that laurie strode deserved better as well because she is good in this movie i liked her um and michael myers uh obviously she's the sister of michael myers they're going with the kind of original timeline there and um so he wants to finish off what he started and this is where the movie gets good Okay, when as soon as Michael Myers escapes, the movie starts to get good. Okay, it stops feeling like some kind of straight to video, like C list movie, and it starts to feel like an actual Halloween movie. Um, and you know what? Like Rob Zombie, you can tell has you know studied the uh, John Carpenter's original because he manages to recreate the right kind of mood as the original film, but in a completely different style. Like definitely his own style. It's not a shot-for-shot shot remake by any means. Um, but he actually does a good job to adapt his style to this. Yeah, this is a trashier, gorier, more brutal version of Halloween. But it kind of works, honestly. Like the second half of the movie, at least. Uh, so Michael Myers is going around, obviously, killing people. Because that's what he does. Uh, starting with um, Laurie's parents. And the way they do this kill is really good. That was, like, the best scene in the movie, I think. Is where, like... You've got, like, Laurie's parents, and Rob Zombie, I gotta hand it to him, did a really good job at making Laurie and her parents, like, really likable characters. Like, you spend a little bit of time with them. They're kind of witty, and they have these cute kind of little back and forths. The script is actually pretty solid, I gotta say, for this part at least. And uh, all of a sudden, like, you've got, you've got, like, the dad who's hanging out outside on his porch, and he's just, like... Uh, talking about va going on vacation or something. Next thing you know, whoosh, out of completely out of nowhere. You didn't even know that freaking Michael Myers was this close to him. Freaking like cuts like his throat straight clean off. It's just and then he just pushes into the house and starts going after the mom and things turn to shit for Laurie Strode from that point on. Um, the way that he did that was really cool. I thought that worked really well. And then uh, the rest of the movie goes pretty much as you would expect. Uh, he starts to go after Laurie, who is babysitting a couple of kids. And uh, yeah, it's uh, chasing around the house, etc., etc. Dr. Loomis comes back again. He's uh, made friends with the sheriff, who is played by none other than freaking Brad Dourif. I mean, like I said, the cast is incredible in this movie. <laughs> like, it's a great cast. Brad Dourif? Come on. Chucky himself is in this movie. So, yeah, Dr. Loomis comes back and to try and help, and he does, and it's a whole kind of chase around the neighborhood. Uh, there's little nods to some of the other kind of Halloween sequels. There's definitely a little bit of Halloween 2 in there as well. Uh, from some of the shots, like the kids kind of alerting the police as to what's happening, running down the neighborhood and stuff. Um, and of course, the, the whole sister kind of twist, plot twist in there. And it ends with freaking Laurie taking on uh, Michael Myers at the bottom of a, a empty pool uh, as Dr. Loomis shows up and, you know, shoots him down and stuff. And by when the movie ended, I was like, you know what? This was okay. This was not that bad. Like, this is actually, I would say... One of the better Halloween movies I've seen. 
And I'm shocked to hear myself say that because, I, like I said, I had no hope in Rob Zombie for this movie. And he surprised me. I got to say he surprised me. Okay, like the, it, the second half of the movie I thought was quite strong. You know, like, again, you know, I still have issues with his uh, style, but you do get used to it throughout the movie. And he he's not as uh, annoying with that as he is at the beginning of the movie. He kind of improves uh, with his direction as the movie goes on, you know. Um, yeah, maybe his best movie ever. I don't know. I think this might be Rob Zombie's best movie. It's it's honestly well done. Uh, I, I have no idea how I came to this. Uh, I was ready to hate this movie, to trash it. I was like, you know what? Rob Zombie's Halloween's going to be terrible. No one ever talks about it. There's no way. Um, I would watch this movie again over any of the new Halloween movies easily. Oh, my God. This was way more entertaining than uh, Halloween ends. Just as crazy in terms of the kills and everything. Um Way better than Halloween Kills, because that that was just trash. That was just, like, really, really dumb. Every character is really dumb. All characters are not dumb in this movie. In this movie, people act pretty much how you think they would act, you know? And better than the 2018 one, honestly. Because the 2018 one had made a lot of promises in terms of what we're going to get. Like, how awesome Jamie Lee Curtis was going to be. How epic their face-off was going to be. How scary Michael was going to be. None of that really kind of came to fruition. It just kind of like felt a bit flat. It's not a terrible movie, but it just fell flat for me. This movie goes crazy places and it worked. It worked. Like Rob Zombie didn't screw it up. He actually did an okay job with it. So I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah. I mean, another criticism I have of this movie, like I feel like he could have toned it down a little bit in terms of like there's a scene in the prison where like these these assholes show up and they like rape this girl it's just like i don't i don't need this i don't i don't want to see this uh it does it's not like scary it's just like gross like it, it's unpleasant and it's unnecessary and it, it kind of puts uh freaking michael in like the position of being a hero which is just kind of like come on like <laughs> just come on and again like it's it's the same kind of problem i have with the very very beginning where it humanizes michael a lot which you know, I think that's actually what he was trying to do. Like, he was trying to show that, like, the serial killers, you know, they, there's a humanity to them. But it's like, yeah, okay, but Michael is different. There's something about Michael that's not that's not human, right? <laughs> like, he gets shot multiple times. He gets killed, burned. He's still walking around. There's something else going on there. Like, there's no real point humanizing Michael because there's something else happening. I don't know where this franchise is going to go. Like, I don't know if Halloween 2 built on that in a way that was, like, um, sensible and, like, where it made sense. And it went kind of a supernatural direction, but in a way that is not too over the top and ridiculous. Or I wonder if Halloween 2 is just a completely different deal. If it's just, like, batshit insane nonsense because they didn't make a third one. So the fact that they, Rob Zombie didn't do a third one kind of tells me that Halloween 2 is probably a complete and utter shit show. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see it. I'm going to be seeing it maybe even today. So look out for that review very soon on the website. Uh, thank you for watching this one, by the way. Uh, I appreciate it. I've been trying to post um, a few more reviews lately. Also, I've been reworking the site. So if you click around and you see some reviews are... Uh, kind of look kind of slick and stuff and some look like a mess it's normal i'm working on it It just takes a lot of time um but yeah hope you guys have a great time i'm gonna be you know catching up with all the halloween movies i got halloween 2 i need to watch and then i'm gonna go back in time i gotta watch uh freaking resurrection i gotta watch four five and six which i haven't seen in a very long time and then i'll be done then i don't have to worry about halloween until the next freaking trilogy of of garbage films shows up um anyway thanks again take care everyone see you in the next review